quick question. What do you do when you're having a bad day? Hi, my name is Shelly Hitz. I'm the best-selling author of over 40 books. The list keeps growing. I'm getting ready to hit published on a new print book soon. I just updated it in Create Space yesterday. I am the creator of AuthorAudienceAcademy.com and I'm an author coach who's on a mission to help you reach more people with your message. Now let's just get real. We all have bad days. I had a really bad day this week and I thought I'd just jump on real quick and share a few insights from my day. It made me think about a book that my dad, when I was growing up, he was a pastor and there for a while in one of our churches, he'd do like a little children's moment. And he used the book, Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. Have you ever heard of that book? I remember he was sharing that book and I was, I was older at the time. I wasn't one of the children going forward for the children's moment, but I just remember thinking, I think we can all relate. <laughs> We all have those days that we just were like, can I get a do-over? <laughs> I'm having a bad day. I had one of those days this week, Tuesday. Oh my goodness, it was just like horrible. You know, one of those days you just feel like quitting. You feel like, why am I doing this? And one day you can just be like, yes, in the zone. I know I'm doing what God has called me to do. And then the next day, what am I doing? <laughs> Why am I doing this? And sometimes there's a little bit of a, a roller coaster. It's life, this side of heaven. But one of the things that I realized is sometimes we just need to take a step back and evaluate. Like my mom always used to say, you know, when you have really heightened emotions, it's usually in, in, in indicative of something deeper going on. So I just, I took a step back for a minute and I'm like, okay, what is going on? For me, on Tuesday this week, part of my bad day was that I was overwhelmed. Anyone else feel that ever? I started to look at my schedule and although I wanted to do everything that I had planned for May, I just realized it's not realistic and it's stressing me out. Sometimes we just need to reevaluate and say, okay. And so I, I rearranged my schedule and I pushed something back, some major things back that I had planned so that I could have some breathing room. And, and it's not worth it, you guys. We're to live life filled with the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is peace. If we're not having that peace, you know, something is not right. We need to listen for his wisdom and guidance and we don't have to do everything right now. That's the lie of the enemy. The enemy says you have to do it all and you have to do it right now. And, and I'm an action taker, but sometimes I really get under that feeling and that lie as well. And that was part of what was going on. And just to be really honest here, I said some things, especially to my husband that we're not good. <laughs> and so I had to ask his forgiveness and I had to ask for God's forgiveness for that stinking thinking. You know, I had some really bad, like it just seems like sometimes when you get in that mindset and you start having that bad day and then one thing leads to another and then you have this thought and then this thought and then this, and it's just like Arr! gets into that stinking thinking. And I had to ask God's forgiveness. I was not a person of faith. On Tuesday, I was a person of worry and anxiety and overwhelm, and I just allowed myself to go into a really bad place. But I had to, you know, forgive myself too. We, we all have these days. Can I get an amen? My mom is a counselor and she often says, you know, we just need to feel our feelings because they're real. We don't want to just reject them and like push it under the rug and not feel the feelings. So we need to feel the feelings and then let them flow through and it's a process. And I realized this time of year is hard for me. Mother's Day is around the corner. I had a miscarriage in 2013, have not been able to have children. I'll turn 41 next week and I might start crying. <laughs> 
because it's really hard for me. And I was in the store the other day and there was all this stuff like Mother's Day stuff. And I love my mother. I love my sister who's a mother. I love mothers. But it just hits me hard this time of year. And so sometimes you just need to let yourself feel the feelings. And, you know, I cried and, and I let myself grieve. So sometimes, you know, there's multiple layers. There's multiple things going on. And we just have to say, okay, God, what's the next step? But I, you know, just let myself feel those feelings. I cried and just, you know, let it go. And I know it's going to keep coming back. I'm going to have to keep dealing with it but one step at a time. Life is like a puzzle. And many times when we're walking through a situation, we only see one or two or maybe three pieces of the puzzle. We see very small part of the big picture. If we could just see the box top, if we could just see the, the full picture, if we could just see what God has planned for us on the other side of this trial, on the other side of this difficulty, on the other side of this bad day, on the other side of this difficult thing, we would be amazed. We would stand back in amazement. Like it gives me chills right now. I'm like getting chills to know what is on the other side of this hard time, this difficult time. Cause we only see that little piece and we're like, it doesn't make sense. I don't understand it. I don't see it. I don't get it. God, I don't know. Like I just, I thought I was doing the right thing and I just don't get it. Do you ever feel that way? Well, I want to encourage you today to realize there is a big picture. God not only like sees the entire big picture for your life right now, but he has the box top. He has the master plan and his plans for us are good. If you're a follower of Christ, his plans for you are good. And if you're not a follower of Christ and you would love to hear more about this, let me know because I love to share about my faith with you. But I encourage you to think bigger outside the box. God is weaving a tapestry and many times we only see the underside. We don't see the brilliant picture, the, the amazing thing that he's creating. We see all the knots, you know, and the, <laughs> the ugliness of what we're going through now. So I just want to say a quick prayer for each one of you. If you're having a difficult time, if you're having a bad day, I'd love to pray for you right now. God, I just thank you for each person that is listening to this broadcast live or listening afterwards. I just pray that you would pour out a blessing on their lives right now. I just pray that your Holy Spirit would fill them right now with the exact comfort that they need, with the exact insight that they need, with the exact wisdom that they need today, with the next steps with maybe just a sense of your love for them. I just pray that anyone that needs to ask forgiveness for something they've done when they've had a bad day, that they would take that step and ask forgiveness for those maybe they said things or Lord, ask your forgiveness or even forgive themselves. Sometimes we beat ourselves up so much and we just can't let go of the regret of the things we've done in the past. So I pray that they would walk in a spirit of forgiveness and grace. And Lord, I just pray that anyone that's really struggling today, I pray that you would empower them. You would help them. You would rescue them. You would give them exactly what they need today. And I pray this in the powerful name of Jesus. Amen. So what do you guys think? I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear from you, my community. What do you do when you're having a bad day? Share in the comments below because you never know who it might help. You never know how your encouragement or your advice or your tip or your, maybe you share a scripture or you share, you write out a prayer for someone or you, you just share something in the comments. You never know how that might impact somebody else's life today or maybe they'll stumble across this video a year from now. So share in the comments now one thing that you do when you're having a bad day. And again, if you wanna join the private Facebook group, it's a free group for Christian authors, entrepreneurs who wanna keep Christ the center, come join us at godlygain.com and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.